Welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you for coming back to see me. I hope you guys are doing well today as I am. As you see, I have gotten refreshed. I um, brushed my teeth, washed my face, made my bed, got in the shower, changed my clothes. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now. So I wanted to bring y'all some positivity in your life because I feel like somebody need to hear it because I know I did. So I downloaded this app, it's called Motivation. <clears throat> And what it does, you can customize it to fit whatever season you may be going through in life or whatever um, obstacles you may be facing. Like they have different different things that you get um, see when you when you download it. So one that came to me today, I got up and I thought I was like, hmm. It's my uncle's birthday and my cousin, I texted him and told him happy birthday. They responded to me. But um, this quote, I want you to listen. listen. It says, obstacles can't stop you. Problems can't stop you. People can't stop you. Only you can stop you. Did you hear that look? I even want you to see it. See, I wait a minute. It's for the focus. It's not gonna fit. I don't want y'all to focus. But listen, I'm gonna say it again for the people who didn't hear me the first time. I want you to open your ears. Obstacles can't stop you. Problems can't stop you. People can't stop you. Only you can stop you. I just had to drop the phone on that. Listen though, that is so true. <clears throat> How many times have you said you set out to do something? but it's always an excuse. And you know, and, and this goes for me too because I always, it's easy for me. <sighs> this camera just got real disrespectful and stopped recording. I had to um, clear some space off of it. But um, back to what I was saying, I think I was saying it's easy to make excuses, especially when you're doing something that you're not used to doing, something that's foreign to you when you're changing or um, like I heard from church yesterday, when you're stretching, you have to stretch to reach your full potential. So um, I just want y'all, starting now, you don't even have to wait till 2020 because I'm not the type of person, I don't say my New Year's resolution. I just try to, you know, take it one day at a time and just start because I, you know, how many times do you hear, oh, this year I'm gonna eat better, I'm gonna start working out, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and then it may last for two weeks and then it's over. So don't look at it as a New Year's resolution, but um, you can start today, but just just stop, basically stop doubting yourself because that's where I'm, I'm a prime example of somebody who, who doubts themselves. I was the person who was in my own way because a true story is I was um, fresh out of hair school. And um, when I was in hair school, I used to, for some reason, I used to be scared to cut hair. Cause it's like, once it's gone, it's gone. You can't put it back until it grow back. So I was scared to cut hair. And then um, I worked at a full service, like a, a, a black salon um, while I was in hair school. Like I knew how to do hair. But for the most part, at that point in time, black women weren't really getting their hair cut anyway. Like if you trim their hair, they're kind of like, oh, don't take too much. And I'm like, okay. So, um, but I was scared to cut hair. That was the thing that I feared the most, other than color, cutting hair and color. And so once I stopped working at that hair salon that I was working at in school, I went and got a job at Great Clips. Like that was, <laughs> that was totally different for me. I didn't have a lot of experience with hair that didn't look like my hair. And um, using clippers, that was like, 
that was like 85% um, of my haircuts. I'm gonna use some clippers on the haircut. And most of my customers were men. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And so um, they put you, once you get hired, they put you in a training. I forget how long the training, it was like, was it three days? I forget how long it was. But you have to go to, to a training and it was like uh, for three days, full work days. And um, they teach you. So I felt a little bit more confident. But when I tell you, when I got back to the salon and started doing hair, one girl, I jacked her hair up so bad. Like, it was so bad. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. But she, did, she didn't show out. She, she was a young girl, and her, her mom was in there with her. But, whew, that was a mess. I'm here to tell y'all. I'm not in that place again, but it takes, I hate that she had to experience my mess up, but it, even when you're doing anything, you gonna mess up, you you gonna mess up, but you have to, to keep at it, don't let that stop you, don't feel like you are less than, don't feel like you can't do it, you gonna fall, it happens, so after so long, nail cutting is my favorite thing to do. I had people who would come in there and they wouldn't want me, they wouldn't want their hair cut unless I was in there. I gotta sneeze, y'all. <coughs> Bless me. But anyway, yeah, that's that's one, one of my stories that I have. And then I saw another quote. It just said, if not now, when? If not now, it's the glare, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to focus on my face but if not now when when <laughs> and that happened with my YouTube channel um it's been years I know three four five years I've been saying I was gonna start a YouTube channel but it was like what am I gonna talk about nobody don't wanna um don't wanna see me or hear me talk and then um I really wanted to start when I was pregnant one of the, not the last time, but another time when I was pregnant. So this was years ago. And I was just too camera shy to, to just start recording. And I know a lot of people, they like, um, they like to see the progression of, of pregnant women. And um, cause other, pre when I was pregnant, I used to watch videos. So I'm sure that um, other women, they do the same too. And, um, but now, it's just like, I just had to pick it up, and it's like, whoever watches it, watches it, who who don't watch it. And then, my channel may not even get to be a big channel, but it, it's fine. It's reaching who it needs to reach. Like, if you're listening to this video today, you were the one who needed to hear it, and I appreciate you for watching, and I hope, hope that this helps you. But even for some of you who maybe wanted to start a YouTube channel, and a lot of people may see it as, why are you putting your business out there for everybody to see? from where I'm coming from is not putting my business out there. I just want people to see how, I want you to see an everyday couple, everyday family, and I just don't want it to be a lot of drama because I know it's a lot of dysfunction that is put on display, even on TV, with all the uh, TV shows and people love the drama and people love dysfunction, but I mean, my life, it is what it is, and we do go through things, and every day is not all peaches and cream, or, or however you want to say it, but I just don't want to, and even if it is something that I'm going through, and I talk to the, talk to y'all about it, it's not like I'm just putting my business out there, it's because I'm telling somebody, it's a, basically like a testimony, maybe it can help somebody else through a certain situation, or even if it's just something positive like this, this may help somebody through their day because I know a lot of people, sometimes you may see something like this and you're just, okay, I hear you, but somebody may really be taking it in and somebody may really need this. This may be the only positive thing that somebody sees throughout their day, throughout the week. You you just don't know what kind of environment somebody is, um, is in on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, I just felt the need to come on here and let y'all know that um yeah get up whatever it is you think you set out to do get up and do it and i still have a few things that i still need to get up and do not saying that i have all my ducks in a row that i'm following everything verbatim that i'm saying 
because I'm a work in progress also. And I do want to try um, from here on to, to do more things because I stand in my own way a lot. It's a lot of things that I have the talent to do, but I don't have the nerve to do it. Even with this YouTube video and my forehead just out shining like a star. Like, what can I do? It's mine. <laughs> Embrace it. Here we are. Ta da! See? She's here to stay. She's been been with me all my life. So, um, I let her lead the way. So, um, yeah, so whatever you have in your heart to do, I just say do it. Don't even think about what if this happened, what if that happened. Just do it. You won't know until you do it. So, um, that's the mentality I want you and me to have. Just do it. Don't stop yourself because you are your worst when it comes to things like this. Just like today, I have a lot that I need to do and I'm trying to make all kinds of excuses not to do it, but do it, it won't get done, so, but that being said, I gotta go, and I'll see y'all on the next video, thank you so much for watching, bye-bye.